close racing supply in Eldred, Pennsylvania has been in business since 1996, serving the motorsports industry with quality parts and components for dirt late models, modifieds, and stock lip race cars. Check out the expanded inventory at their new larger location or give them a call at 814-225-3250. In stock at Close Racing Supply are parts from the most popular manufacturers like All-Star Performance, Wears Machine, Dynamic Drive Lines, Winners Performance, Willwood, Quick Car Racing Products, and many others. They also manufacture their own quality CRS race components. Check out the website at CloseRacingSupply.com or follow them on Facebook. Approach the restart cones off of turn four. Onto the front straightaway, green flag goes in the air. 20 laps here at McKean County Raceway for the Beaver Trucking and Excavating Rush Pro Mods. And it is the 18 of Carlson who slides up the track, blocks Kerner Heppel, but that opens up the door for Zane Harvey. Side by side they go into three and four. Zane Harvey got by Carlson to win the heat. He is now the race leader, but here comes Steve Dixon to the bottom of the racetrack. He is going to go wheel to wheel with Carlson on turn two. Steve Dixon gets around Chad Carlson, and now he will set his sights on the back bumper of Zane Harvey. Down the front straightaway, back through one and two. Steve Dixon, he trails Harvey by about three car lengths, but now loses some distance off of turn two. Harvey dials up the low line off of turn four onto the front straightaway. He is still holding a comfortable three car bank lead as they spill back into turns one and two. Turn four, back onto the front straightaway, Zane Harvey, the race leader, and he is pulling away inch after inch. He is not pulled away by a lot, well within striking distance for Steve Dixon, but continuing to put a car plank in maybe another one now off of turn number four. But behind them, it is Carlson who rides in position number three. He is all by himself. He was under pressure from Kurt Hempel at one moment. But now, Kurt Hempel under the gun from Warner as they head down the back straightaway. Trouble in turn one. We got one car that has gone for a spin, the 516 of Larry Mitchell Jr. And he gets slammed into by the 9S of CJ Sherwood. And the yellow flag is in the air. Not really figured out. They're three wide off turn four. Green flag goes back in the air. Zane Harvey and Chad Carlson made some heavy contact off of turn number four. We'll see if that affects either one of them. I'm not sure if Zane Harvey knew we were going green. But now the yellow flag's back in the air. 14 laps to go. Harvey will fire first. He does so now. Green flag goes back in the air. Harvey darts out with the race lead. Kerr Hempel literally chops off the nose of Chad Carlson on the entrance to turn one. But Harvey has already gapped both of them. A three-car blank lead as they head into three and four. Zane Harvey starting to pull away from Kerr Hempel. Turns number three and four, Zane Harvey all by himself at the front of the field. Meanwhile, farther back, a lot of good side-by-side -side battle. Steve Dixon trying to march through the field. He has gotten around Kane Stebbins and now will set his sights on the 33 of Josh Canfield. Al Brewer is side-by-side -side with Tyler Oaks. They head into turns three and four. But Zane Harvey, he is long gone and putting a lot of distance between him and the rest of the field. Trouble in turn three. CJ Sherwood goes for a spin, and that is going to bring out the yellow flag yet again. Check out Lizard Lit Pit Lights for all of your pit lighting needs, available in dual or single kits. Do you have an open trailer? We have you covered. Five foot kits available in red, black, and orange, perfect for your food trucks or cart trailers. Need canopy lighting? We do that too. Looking for something flashy? Check out our powder coated and telescoping line. Join the family today. Visit lizardlitpitlights.com and don't get caught in the dark. 
Checking in, we'll see if that continues. 11 laps to go, Delaware restart as they come to the restart cone. The green flag goes back in the air. Zane Harvey gets a good jump yet again. Peter Heffel, Jeff Carlson, they try to hang with them, following his tire tracks through one and two as Carlson goes way wide and now finds himself in the three wide battle momentarily, but then goes side by side with Warner down the back straightaway, but up front, Zane Harvey pulling away yet again. Halfway down, 10 laps to go for Zane Harvey in the 22 as he heads through one and two off of turn two and down the back straightaway, continuing to get faster. Zane Harvey just set the fastest lap of the race yet again. Lap after lap, he is setting faster and faster laps and pulling away from the field. Nine laps to go for Zane Harvey. Major problems for Josh Wilcox off turn number two. He goes for a spin and also the 22T of Tyler Oaks. He has got a lot of damage on the left front of that 22T as the yellow flag is in the air, but the left front tire of Tyler Oaks looks like it's getting caught in the fender, but Josh Wilcox has gone for a spin and a stop off of turn number four. Approaching the restart cone, Zane Harvey, he is the race leader, the control car, he will fire first, does so now, green flag goes back in the air, eight laps to go, Zane Harvey jumps out to a good two car length advantage as they head back into turns one and two. Steve Dixon on the hunt on the back bumper of Al Brewer trying to improve his position and hope for another late race caution. But right now up front it is all Zane Harvey with seven laps to go. A turn four a lap ago, Steve Dixon got to the bottom of the racetrack of Brewer and Carlson. D Steve Dixon back into position number four, and he will set his sights on a side-by-side -side battle that's taking place directly in front of him that is now settled. Warner around Hempel, and now Dixon trying to get to the bottom of the racetrack on Hempel. He'll jump to the high line into turn three, and he will pull the crossover off of turn four, but not enough momentum just quite yet. Up front, Zane Harvey continuing to check out from the rest of the field. He is all by himself down the back straightaway into turn number three. Off, off the corner, on the front straightaway, yellow flag in the air. Top five, and Harvey has done such a good job being consistent on the restarts. We'll see if that continues. Green flag goes back in the air with five laps to go. Warner tries to stay in the tire tracks and Zane Harvey, he does so, but is losing time, losing distance to the race leader off of turn number two. Off of turn four, back onto the front straightaway, four more times around for Zane Harvey. Back into turns one and two, Warner continuing to try to pull up alongside and get to the back bumper, but can't do so. He has lost a tremendous amount of time to the race leader. Dixon, he is having a whirl of a time trying to get around Kurt Hempel. He peeks his nose to the high side, tries the high line in a one and two, but Hempel kind of blocks him off of turn number two. Dixon loses a car like the Hempel, and he is not going to be able to get by Hempel at least this lap, continuing to have a heck of a time trying to get around him, and this is allowing Zane Harvey to pull away and check out. Two laps to go for Zane Harvey. He's down the back straightaway into turn three and four. White flag already being displayed, and Steve Dixon has some major problems in the turn number three. Big issues for Steve Dixon. White flag is in the air, however. Harvey has a half a lap to go. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Into turn three and four. Warner, too far back. Not going to be able to get there, and it is going to be Zane Harvey, who scores the win in the Beaver Trucking and Excavating Rush Pro Mods here on our third night at McKean County Raceway. And here he is out of the car, giving up for Zane Harvey in the 22.
Well, Zane, your career has progressed tremendously over the last couple of years. It took you a long time to get that first career win. And ever since then, you've been checking tracks off one after another. And you did it here tonight, my friend, at McKean County Raceway. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great here. Uh, you know, we've had some pretty bad luck here. Uh, finally got the monkey off her back, and here we stand. You mentioned the bad luck week one, not to bring it up again, but you did have a little bit of a roll in the middle of turns one and two. Glad to see you're okay. Glad to see the car's back into one piece. But how do you overcome something like that that happened here on opening night? Uh, you just, you just got to put your head down, work on it, and just kind of forget about the little things. Anybody that you want to thank? Yeah, I want to thank Switzer Services, CS Storage, Burt Bell Enterprise, Taylor and Armstrong, G Racing, Vivian Harvey Investments, Close Race Supply, uh, Carpies, and whoever else helps on this ride. One more thing I do want to say, and some of these fans might not know about you, you are enlisted in the Marines and you are going to go serve for this great country. Thank you for your service. Let's give Zane Harvey a big round of applause as he is going to head off to the Marines. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Thank you.